welcome to Tax TV. It's Neil. Uh, some transfer rumours, gossip, uh, what's been in media, social media, papers and that. First off, we'll go with Jack Butterfill, an 18-year-old striker at Leicester City, under-18 striker. In the under-18s at Leicester, he's played 19 appearances and 10 goals. Apparently, he's also appeared for Barnsley, under-23s, uh, the Barnsley game versus Watford. And according to what, you know, reports of that's come out of that, it really impressed him that game. So an 18-year-old striker, you know, some people might say, oh, he'll go again young, but 19 appearances, 10 goals, is it worth taking a shot on? You know, League One, could it be his forte in there? Could it be used as like an impact kind of sub? But again, from Leicester City, Premier League club, it's got to have some good like breeding, good pedigree kind of thing. So for me, why not? When you look at players of what's coming previous, surely it's got to be with some kind of, you know, tech on it kind of thing. And for him to be already have had a, a, a game for under twenty threes, bound under twenty threes as well. Surely Martin Devaney will cast his eye over it and seeing what he's been capable of like like I say, reports coming out but you know, he impressed. So Wait and see. It looks pretty confident, but it might happen. So we'll wait and see what's going to happen next uh, few days, few weeks on that one. Colin Woodrow uh, been linked with Norwich City. Uh, whether they've put a bid in or out like that, I don't know. But again, it's just we're going to be getting around to the stage now where some certain players are going to be like being linked with the clubs. Colin Woodrow being one of them, would he fit into? system in Norwich City. You know, he, he he could look at that kind of thing as a as a move for him. More you know to fit his his style. Would he go? Who knows? Uh, I think a lot's gonna be dependent on manager or head coach who comes in. But it's clear that some players will have to go to clear wage bill up and also bring some funds into the club as well. So that's Colin Woodrow being linked with Norwich City. Callum Styles, another player on getting international now, so can be more brought to the front, I suppose, of certain clubs uh, playing what he could do. Again, the links are with Celtic and West Brom. We, I think it was back in January, it been linked with uh, Celtic. I think West Brom as well, but I think strong rumours were going to be going for Celtic. Would it fit in their style again? Possibly. Could it be a good move for him? I'd you know, going for a, a big club like Celtic, you'd think it would be. On getting international, it's going to be making him more up in front for international scene, being in squad and like now. So again, there's no, <coughs> excuse me, there's no like bids around like that what's been put in. But rumoured are that Celtic and West Brom are both looking around at him. And Mikel Hellick, I think the vast majority of fans were half expecting this with Mikhail Hellick to be going from club with him being a Polish international. Uh, his age is also creeping up as well. Still, not me For me, I'd still keep him, you know, but I'd keep a lot. You know, people like that, you need backbone. But according to what's been in media kind of thing, linked with Queen's Park Rangers. So that's an interesting one. Um, I know... A couple of seasons ago in January transfer window, not last uh, this one, but I think it was the previous one. Rumour to be going to Brighton. I don't know what fee it was, but it, it, it uh, failed at last attempt kind of thing. So, Mikhail Hellick linked with Queen's Park Rangers. Again, there's no been figures being banded about. There's been no, you know, money's been taught or been published out, but it's just links with our players being linked with other clubs. So I've met three players. Kyle Woodrow linked with Norwich City. Callum Styles linked with Celtic and West Brom. And Mikhail Hillett linked with Queen's Park Rangers. Still a lot of time to go. You know, just don't settle kind of thing yet. Still where to approach uh, approach and uh, interview head coach. But the one thing coming out of this is Jake Jack Butterfield, an 18-year-old striker from Leicester City. Possibly. So it could be possibly one coming in, three going out at the minute. So we'll wait and see. Any more developments from like that, guys, I will let you know. I'll try and get it out as straight away as I can. 
obviously my work and working schedule and that. But that's the latest update on the, the player transfers. Once again, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts below. The players, what you know, been linked with, with clubs and uh, Jack Butterfield as well. Please leave your like, subscribe, and share. Appreciate everyone in you. Leave your comments below. One thing left to say: you Reds. Thank <music> you.